Hello! Is anybody out there? Welcome to Bead With Me. I'm Kay, your host from Stars Beads, and thank you for hopefully joining me whenever you do. But luckily, I'm glad that a lot of you guys do watch us on the replay because who knows when I get on here. But I do try to hit up around the same time every day. So I know notifications are popping up. Kay's finally got here. But I'm here. I'm trying to be festive. I've been working on my red, white, and blues and uh, working our way through the week as we prepare for another Friday Night Live, you guys. So, hey, Laura, how's it going? We've been showing off your pend pendants all week here. And we were playing with bracelets, so we were making things in blue. So yesterday was blue. Today I'm wearing red. Um, I wore white the... I guess a couple of days ago. So I've been trying to be festive and I was playing with uh, some of these uh, beads. And now I wish I had shown you the design that Lisa had done because we are doing a contest. So if you guys hadn't heard from earlier in the week, we are doing a, we were trying to do a holiday red, white, and blue with some of the beautiful uh, crystals that we have. So like this, and then she sold the earrings. So now, she has to make another pair and for those of you guys that were watching yesterday on the gather chain I got a couple announcements number one jump ring uh, maker tool is back ordered so I had to so there's a couple of you guys that will have got, will get the jump ring tool but I have you guys on a wait list I'm gonna see uh, one if I can get another carrier or when those other ones are gonna be coming back in so that's announcement number one for that jump ring uh, maker tool so really sorry about that um, but th that what can you do I think some of the shipments are behind so we'll see when when that comes in stock and then number two I know yesterday this turned out to be a pretty smashing bracelet and um, so of course I ran out of the gunmetal chain and I have all these kits to make. So you guys, and I actually ran out of these crystals too. So for those of you that were um, bidding on this one here yesterday, I am getting a whole round of them in so that I can make sure that I, I fulfill them all. I'm even doing them in different colors for you guys. So if you want it in gold, if you want it in bright silver, I am choosing different class for you. So it may not be like the, this particular class and maybe something simple, you know, but um, it will come with the closure okay so all right i want to i always like to say my hello so if you guys are on make sure you say hi let me see some love i like to see those hearts let me know where you guys are coming in from and i always want to hear from you guys so make sure you guys engage in this i always want to know what you want to hear about so all right, those were the couple announcements. Um, also, I keep playing with these beads because I extended that Friday Night Live last week to tomorrow. So you still have time. So if you didn't get dibs on some of these things like those crystals, um, those Swarovskis, you can still get them. And if you want to get in on some of these, look, I brought the pearls in, okay? So I was doing 40% 40, 40 off on pearls. I had 30% off on check glass. So if you guys... Um, if you guys didn't get to watch Friday Night Live, then you might want to watch it. Or maybe just stick with me here long enough today and we'll play with some right now. Okay? So, um, but I thought we'd get a little festive and I was playing around with, of course, the red, white, and blue beads. And I thought, can you guys help me with what I'm going to compete with Lisa with? Or um, I was thinking about, actually, I wanted to make a chain because I've had people like this uh, necklace that I wear, okay? And I thought it was really funny is that I actually happen to have that particular vintage Swarovski on this necklace, okay? And so I thought uh, we would make one because um, we, you know how much I love chain. And, uh, and I found some cool rings. So of course you could put any of your rings that, you know, only fit, fit you on your, your cold days you know, um, but now that it's summertime, you know, maybe you're all swollen up and we can't get these rings on here, but yet we still want to show them off, right? Okay, but I also found some other rings. Uh, I found some ones uh, that are kind of a uh, sea glass looking in a red, white, and blue that we are, we're going to slide onto the ones here today, okay? So, um, and then I was thinking about maybe putting the little crystal there at the end. So, that's going to be my little quick and fun project showing another way to use chain okay so today we're going to use the finer uh, style of chain um, like we showed yesterday so this one you could do this uh, gathered chain 
bracelet look okay obviously it's gonna be way tinier okay but if you like all that tiny stuff it's a great spacer you know it kind of gives you that little bit of edge and it's not all perfect and um and this would work wonderfully for it so i'll get get a little close up and i you guys are are every, everyone's so sweet you guys like this red top huh <laughs> i don't wear red a lot but um it, it, it is rather nice all right I am not used to having my phone on this uh, tripod thing, and so I'm actually going to take it off because I'm used to it this other way. So this is the chain that we're using here today. If you want some, okay, I'll, I'll try to pop this up in the feed, but this is $2 a foot. We carry it in lots of different colors. Um, we did show this one off yesterday, so I have it in the antique brass gunmetal. Um, but I'm going to do the antique silver today, uh, and then these are the fun little rings that I want to put onto it. And it'd be helpful if I had some wire. <laughs> All right, so the way we are going to make this is we're gonna take three lengths of chain. So whatever distance you want your chain and uh, some of the average length, so you know, is 16 inches is an average choker. 18 inches is, is the next very popular. 18 and 20 inches is very popular and um, and then 24 is what you almost need to at least kind of get over your head. Um, and that's uh, tightly, okay? So I'm doing, I'm gonna do, my necklace was three, so I'm gonna kind of match that. So I'm gonna do three, uh, I'm gonna do 16 inches because once I remember, how much does a clasp usually add? Can anybody tell me? Can anybody tell me this is like class? How much have you been learning from class? So I'm gonna just take that one piece and then measure off of that one. Cause you know, it does not have to be rocket science here, but I'm trying to get pretty much the same sizing. So what might be helpful when you're doing something with the multi strands is to go ahead and maybe take a little piece of wire right now. I'm gonna just, little leftover piece and I'm going to string this one on the edge here so that we can make sure we at least have this right size here okay so I'm gonna pull this out since I'm just going with the chain and then when we get to the actual putting everything together then we can make sure that it technically is is right okay that's right you guys good job you guys have been paying attention one inch even if at least an inch, oftentimes even more. But I would say regardless, it's always gonna be an inch. All right, so we've got the three strands here, okay? So this is gonna be essentially the idea, only we're gonna put a cool bead right here, okay, in the end. So I've got my third, third piece. And like I said, I'm gonna kinda, I'm just kinda getting a guesstimate right now with the three. Then I'm gonna hold it up and see about how long it actually is. And now I have a tripod there I'm not used to having. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna hold this up and now I have three, three long chain links and I can see as I'm holding them you can decide. You can certainly have three separate lengths, okay? But the style that I did, I did it with sterling here. I'm just doing a, a smaller size. So you can do it with anything, all right? Um, and I'm gonna cut, Looks. it looks like two links off of the bottom of two of these. Of course, which one was it? Instead of counting links, I don't know about you. But again, you know, not a big deal. You can hook all the ends together and see how it looks. I just tend to hold it up and, and oh, and I cut that one too short. All right. So these two. And obviously you can't make your chain any longer. So I'm, I'm cutting down to the shortest link here. So in my case, it looks like two links on both of these. Or maybe I was supposed to do one. Oh, we're about to find out. 
<laughs> I think I was supposed to actually take two links off. So I was supposed to cut link number two, not cut link number three. All right, so we cut that one link off of the other one. All right, being silly here. All right, so now I have three links of chain, exactly the same length by this eyeball, okay? And now I'm going to take a little piece of wire, you guys, and let's see. Since we're kind of doing a red, white, and blue, should we, I don't know, maybe I'll put on, I'm going to put on one of these, um, these clear whoop, vintage Tchaikovsky's that was a Comet Argent Light because it's a silver color and it matches everything, so although we're going to there today then when we do this chain it will go with everything okay so you guys can guess it but we are going to get another little piece of wire and I've got a 20 gauge here because that's what we've been working that's just what I've been working with and on mine I used a a hook which remember we couldn't make our own hook here. So shall we do that? Shall we make our own little hook? Let's see. One of my lovely pliers I was working with out here. So we can take this and we could do a similar idea. Remember we were making this style hook? Of course we could make the whole thing a little bit smaller Okay, of course, the bigger bead that you use here at the end, the bigger that, you know, this hole needs to be so that your ring slides over, okay? Most of the time, you should be okay, okay? Um, but if we want to keep it simple, we can do that. Um, maybe I'm going to make this. Maybe I'll see. I'm going to apply her here and maybe just see if we can make a little make a little clasp because I we can use it the tinier one all together let's see so, uh, I need a little bit more wire remember we're gonna do about five five plus inches on this piece of wire I'm just gonna go for a little bit longer because I'm not actually measuring put this baby on there just so you can see how far I have it down. Now I've bent the wire and I can't get it off. All right, I'm not messing. All right, we're gonna slip this over twice. So we're coming around. So I wanna make this one tiny. So tiny I got it stuck on there. Okay, we'll make a little end here. Okay, and then remember we were bending one side up so that we can prepare to wrap this other one. And then this is what's going to make our little attachment. Hopefully I left enough room down here. We'll see. Okay, so remember I, I kind of like this. Uh, I'm just leading this to start right here and then I'll start around the bead. Okay. okay. We can see how we're, we wrap that around just a little bit. And there's my nice chain nose here. So this side I'm gonna make the loop. And I didn't do myself any favors by making this wire so little. Okay, but now you get to see how we save it, okay? By using these super fine chain nose pliers, okay? So, and then we can bend that down a little bit. Makes it a little bit more decorative. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and make that other side loop. Okay, but this time I'm going to make sure that I attach all my chains to it, okay? So I'm gonna loop this take that other side and I'm going to string all of my chains onto this one and make a, a little loop 
Okay. And there's another little one. Now this can be, you know, so if you have a ready-made hook, you can just use this one side. Oh, I guess I should have made the loop first. <laughs> That's all right. All right, I made the loop with all the chains on there. Gonna slide them in there like that never happened. I don't know what you guys are talking about. All right, so we've hooked all the chains on there in a little bit of a crazy fashion this round, but you know, the thought process was there. We're going to hook onto this little baby right here. Okay, and then this is gonna be the side that my hook goes into. And then the other side, we can make ourselves a nice little matching hook closure and put our rings on there. And we'll have ourselves a little festive necklace, okay? Wrapping that. Because you know how much I like some glitter. So you can just get away with just a little pop of glitter on that one, okay? And now we're going to make a little clasp here on the other side so we can make something a little bit like that is what we're gonna be after, okay? Um, you guys, I heard a, uh, I read a great, great quote today and you know, I was, I was just reading some of the bad news about uh, the coronavirus and stuff and just how uh, pretty much here in Virginia, we're looking at kind of the second, um, second highest number since pretty much uh, April, you know, people been you know, pretty much uh, staying out, out out too much, you know. I know the slow openings and we all wanna get back to opening, but you know, we can certainly see that uh, it's certainly making the the numbers rise and we're seeing such a big number. So it's no time to stop being diligent, you guys. Um, you know what, I use the same piece of wire and I think I'm not gonna have enough. So I don't wanna do the same thing I just did to myself, so I'm gonna just cut a new piece of wire, trying to get away with using what I had left over. But I heard a great, great quote, you guys, so you know, if you guys are <laughs> wondering how easy the coronavirus is to spread, this was a great quote in uh, for us crafters, okay? So if you guys are all crafting and one, and one crafter is using glitter, how many people go home with glitter? What do you guys think? Wasn't that a good one? <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> totally makes sense, right? You know all of us would leave with glitter. Okay, so keep being diligent, you guys. It's important, you know. But that one made me laugh. It was a good laugh for the day. All right, we're starting that one again and putting the crystal on the long strand there. Yeah, they closed all your bars and uh, restaurants there, Patty. Yeah, I'm finding that uh, places that are, um, my in-laws are from uh, Myrtle Beach and uh, you know, they were saying that, you know, even though bars and restaurants could be open, they're actually opting not to because you know, they've gotten a case of COVID or something, you know, something happening there. So, all right, there's, there's the other side here. Oh, you know what? I forgot to hook my, in this case, <laughs> I was busy talking. Um, and normally we would, I'll put a jump ring there so we can, but obviously we, <laughs> we should have, uh, should have been doing something else right there. All right, and this time I will use this bigger hook. So we're gonna bend this back and then use this to make the curl here. Can you guys see that? I'm running into myself over here. Okay. Yeah, we, we totally can all relate to that glitter. Okay, so now I've got myself a little, a little hook that I'm using. I'm gonna make mine kind of come down this way though, the way I have my hook. Cause I always want it to be kind of secure that way. 
and then you would want to take a little burr uh, I think I got my hammer around here somewhere now where is my my little brook I just always like hammering it just a smidgen and then um, but obviously we have a vintage Chiroski here so don't go crushing it remember it's wire here but as we are hardening it okay Okay, we got ourselves a, we'll make some of our class like this with the long one, but you could certainly make that shorter so that when this hooks into here, again, I'm just looking for something. I don't, I don't want it to be able to come out and I always feel like hooks if you don't quite get it, you know, good, then that happens. All right, um, and since I was doing too much talking here, I will just, I'm gonna ju just attach a nice uh, jump ring. nice heavy duty one so I know some of you guys want some of those jump locks so we we can put in the request for any jump locks if you guys don't know what I'm talking about they're nice heavy duty jump rings they tend to hold all your pieces really well on there so any of your uh, charms if you ever have you know rings that are opening up on you then this is the perfect uh, jump ring jump ring to use So I'm going to hook all of these on there and then we'll have ourselves a nice little necklace that we can put any type of rings on. Okay, so we've done the chain. We did our own clasp here. Okay, just like we learned the other day. And let's go ahead and put some of these rings on here. And let's see what this guy looks like. All right. All right, so here we go. We've got ourselves a nice little necklace. We can make the hook in and out so we can change like what I'm, I'm wearing. So you can see this is what, well, actually we measured the thing at 16 inches and yeah, Patty, I think we are gonna have to put some jump locks on there. Okay, so, but then the clasp, <laughs> no matter what, in this case, the clasp ended up being closer to two, two inches. Okay, so this ends up being an 18, a nice 18 inch uh, necklace. So you can see that this is probably about 16, this is 18. Okay, so you guys can uh, make yourself a nice little glittery chain when you guys get home. You can put all your rings on there, uh, even C-class. Speaking of sea glass, I got a nice little present. Somebody just went to the um, northern shore and brought me some real sea glass. It was so cool. And even one looks like the bottom of a, a, a Coke bottle or, you know, I don't know what it was, but it, it's, green. it's green. Maybe somebody can tell me. Um, so this necklace could have, <laughs> yes, you could totally totally have uh, rings hey you guys so those pandora beads or whatever you know trolls or whatever you might collect i think that if you find the right style chain you can be sliding those babies on there so you can you know certainly make make your own look at what i've been uh feeling very very loved here <laughs> recently uh i just had someone uh, come in yesterday and as a gentleman named brian and he made these bamboo beads you know, isn't that totally cool? He looks like he's finished them off really nice. He sawed them all perfect. They've got good size holes. He was wearing one actually on a, on a bracelet and thought it looked really good. And then I had somebody come in and bring me these beautiful seashells, you guys. Look at that. I thought these were so cool. So Steve, if you're watching, thank you. And look, okay, so this is what I want to show you is that here's the pieces of sea glass he, he brought to me and I got to meet his brother. It was so nice. Um, but he, but look, you know, what, what do you guys think that's the top to? But look, he, fa he found these pieces. Isn't that, isn't that awesome? And in blue too, okay? Cause sea glass oftentimes, you know, are in all different colors. I have a, a great book here somewhere that um, I think talks about 
about sea glass and how it can really tell you where it, it came from even you know um, the red I think is one of the most uh, sought after in terms of the sea glass so and, and you guys know I like it because you know we had those uh, those little those little pebbles that I um, made a little kit with also just the other day so um, so yeah, I, I appreciate all the all the love you guys bring me, and I was blessed today. Somebody was so sweet and brought me lunch, and um, feeling a, a lot of love, you guys. It's nice to see some people and uh, play with you guys online. So, all right, so fun project for the day. Is there anything you guys want to see? We can play around. Um, oh, reminder, so Friday Night Live, uh, I'm doing all things that are patriotic in some way so it's going to be red blue red white and blue so things that are red white and blue um it may be american made it can be um anything that really reminds me of here you know so i might have some handmade glass artists um so some 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 prizes that's part of the fun i kind of collect things as i am thinking about my theme and i've been uh, pondering it all week with some different surprises because i know last week we did a, a whole bunch of color and i had some things coming up for the uh for this upcoming um week but we want to save some things especially since we are launching don't forget b goes on so if you guys like those beaded bangles if you like even some other other crystals or anything from nepal and tibet they are super awesome uh, specializers they oftentimes come here uh, personally to our store for a trunk show but since life is uh new with the covid world we are doing a new virtual trunk show with them so this is the way it's working is that you can go onto their website and buy anything that you want and it is all on sale as long as you use coupon code stars bees at checkout okay so patty i think i heard that you might have already got uh, got a little order in but you have all of july to use that coupon code to get 15 percent off on everything okay so that's on their beaded bangles that's on their silver everything that they carry and all month i will be showcasing their um items so you can see some of their different product lines because as you can see i was already bringing it in because i love their stuff okay so um including these vintage crystals we got lucky on that one so so anyway um i think those are all the announcements we'll see you guys tomorrow one more time or two more times right so we'll see you for an afternoon session as well as uh friday night live have an awesome day you guys thank you for joining me as always make sure you give me a thumbs up and a like make sure you share me that really i think that really helps me in this algorithm thing so anyway have an awesome day great to see you guys